The drag strip is the ultimate benchmark to test the acceleration capabilities of a vehicle. The perfect launch must be followed by clean and quick shifts to yield the best results. Power to weight ratios, vehicle gearing, and traction are all put to the test. Publisher Michael Ferrara and legendary import drag racer Stefan Papadakis are both NHRA licensed competition drivers. This pair will each be crashing the gears to deliver the best performance from each vehicle. The location will be Auto Club Dragway in Fontana, California. So here we are at Auto Club Dragway in Fontana, California. Standing here next to me is Stefan Papadakis. So Steph, if someone's out there buying a new car, why are these times important? I think it gives you a good feel of what the car is going to do. Some cars have characteristics that make them good at burnouts and uh, has a good easy to launch, you know, beat your buddy at a stoplight kind of thing. And Understanding that, you know, when you go to purchase a car, I think it's important. I asked you originally, I said, do you want a flat rate or are we going to race per car here? Well, what do you, what do you want to do here? Well, okay, so let's do uh, three runs each. Okay. Um, and we'll just get the best out of those three. You know, I think we'll get some respectable times and get pretty close to the optimal drag time that you can out of any of these cars. That sounds fair enough. Yeah. Okay, 100 bucks per car? Sure. <laughs> let's go for it. <laughs> okay, good luck. All right. Honda was nice enough to give us a 2012 Civic Si to test out, and they changed the car a bit, but I don't know, I didn't feel like it was too much different from the 2011. This one, the engine feels really good, the transmission feels really good, really hard to launch though. When I took it out there, I was making the runs, and funny enough, I got a 1563, which was very close to your time. It just didn't feel like a normal run in the vehicle. I mean, obviously it's not optimized to go down the drag strip, but if somebody could fix that relationship with the throttle and everything else, I think you've got a car that's going to probably go 15.2, 15.3 under better conditions. Well, Steph, you're probably the only one that remembers my first car, 1969 Camaro Super Sport. This was the opportunity for us to drive the 2011 Camaro SS and your impression. I'm not sure what this car is supposed to run. I was expecting it to be a 12 second ride. 1382. Yeah, you did better than I. 14 flat twice. That was the best I could do. And I actually did 10 passes in this thing, and that was the best we could get out of it, and that's all she's got. And don't get me wrong, it's not slow, but for an SS bad, small block, yeah. you know, Camaro, I was expecting a little bit more. Now, the 2011 Mustang GT, of all the cars out here, you know, we've been working with all these electronics all day. Turn the traction control on, turn it off. I turned it off my first run, just about put the car into the guardrail. <laughs> Um, I tried it without the traction control. It wasn't as uh, out of control as <laughs> I guess when you drove it, but it was definitely slower. I ended up with a 1350. What'd you get? 1352. You know, if it came to getting a muscle car, based on performance, I would get the Mustang before the Camaro. Okay, so the Mazda 2, it's a new compact on the market, smaller vehicle. Steph, you had a lot of problems driving this, didn't you? You know, I didn't think so until I saw your tires club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I managed a 17.18 in there, and uh, what did you get? A 17.56. Must be a driver's car. Right. This is not a drag car by any means, no. but, you know, it, it was fun. In the past, we've tested a stock 2-liter turbo Genesis. This year, we decided to find one with some performance upgrades, mainly a bigger intercooler, intake system, increased boost, and a reflash. And that's what we have here. Now, we both have the opportunity to drive the car. What do you think of it? It doesn't feel like a uh, Korean econo box. You know, it's, it's a sports car. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, and that was, that was unexpected. You know, they did a really good job with this car. 1454 yep. is your best. Okay. Uh, I got a 1461. Probably the weight difference, I think. <laughs> I don't think it's driving. OK, so here we are with the 3.8 liter Genesis. And the big question is, was it quicker than the fixed up 2-liter? I actually didn't drive it quicker than the red cars and the 2-liter turbo, uh, but I guess you did. I did, that's right. I got a 1443 out of it. I was able to get the stock 3.8 to go quicker than the 2-liter uh, turbo. Yeah, the issue that I was having with the V6 was launching it. I couldn't get that right feel for a perfect launch. I think they took aim at the 370Z and getting closer and closer, so Nissan's going to have to keep pushing the envelope to stay ahead. Okay, so we had an opportunity to take out a 2011 Scion TC TRD edition, and overall pretty impressive for this vehicle. I found the car to be, you know, pretty fun. It's a lot different than a Honda, though, in the sense that you're shifting a lot quicker, a lot shorter. You're not getting a lot of RPMs out of the engine, and it doesn't allow you as much room for error in that sense. You really just got to nail it right, and my best time, I got a 1583. How'd you do? 
1581. That's pretty respectable, I think. It's 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 a lot of car. <laughs> it seems like it. It's a pretty well loaded vehicle. So. Yeah. Well, after having an opportunity to drive this car, we also had an opportunity to drive one a little bit modified. So here's the Crawford performance side on TC. Just a little bit of engine performance work done. Uh, basically, exhaust system and some performance lubricants, making a little bit more power. And well, about a half second quicker. I got a 1537. What'd you end up with? 15. 63. Okay, so definitely another driver's car maybe, but uh, <laughs> I think the big pr improvement on this car from the stock one was definitely the, the art type tire. It's got uh, a Toyota Triple Eight on it. From a stock tire, this thing just launched so much better. I mean, right here, you know, it just shows that you can do something with the Sion TC. It's a platform that's out there. You get a lot of car, like you said, and uh, you can go out there, and if you decide to go the performance route, you know, chances are good things are going to happen. Here we are with the 2011 WRX STI. Now this one's been lightly modded from ESX Motorsports. It's got an intake system on it, an exhaust system. What, what's your impressions? It was more fun, I think, because you could actually get a good, you know, launch and control the slip with the clutch. Interesting. I had a lot of fun with this car. You did better than I did. What were you able to get out of it? Yeah, no, so 13.6. 13.6. With the traction control on, my best was a 13.8. That was the best I could do in it. But take that traction control off if you're bringing it to the drag strip. So we've already talked about the STI, we've talked about the rally arts, and that brings us to the Evo MR. I couldn't get that RPM to come up above like 2500, and I think the best I did was like a 14.2 or a 14.3. Again, you know, it's, it's playing a video game. You know, there was no real driver feedback, it's just get the sequence of events right and go for it. That, you know, it's very refined, it shifted very nice, felt really solid. It's a step up, I think, from the older version. Okay, so the Lotus Evora S. New vehicle out there, supercharged 3.5 liter Toyota engine, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive. What do you think? It's not a drag car. So I got a 1309, basically a 13 flat, just kicks off from a 12 second quarter mile. I did a little bit better, I got a 1301 on it. This is kind of like a grown-up Elise. It'd be a lot more practical as an everyday car. It wouldn't be as fun at the track. Yeah, my favorite part about the car was you could get in there and it's got your clutch, you've got your gear, you can throttle it, you can do a burnout, you shift when you want to. It's back to a driver's car. Right, I mean, you just turn off traction control, you hit the sport mode, and you're good to go. Here it is, the 2012 GTR. It's a bone stock uh, 2012. The only upgrade are Sparco seats in it, so that was about it. Tell us your impression. It felt like a purpose-built new school drag race car to me. It launches perfectly, it shifts perfectly, I didn't do anything. It was, it was yeah. amazing. That's definitely amazing. And like you said, you basically point the car going straight when you start out, and you basically just hang on. <laughs> like, a, like a Skyline commercial, but it's, I'm not favorable to this car or any of the cars here. It just kicks butt on the drag strip.